Deus in adjutorium, meum intende, Domine ad adjuvandum me festina, Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut erat in principio, et non et semper, et in secula, seculorum. Amen. Ubi caritas est vera, Deus ibi est, congregavit nos in unum, Christi amor, Exultemus et in ipso, iucundemur, timeamus et amemus, Deum vivum, et ex corde diligamus, nos sincero. Ubi caritas est vera, Deus ibi est, simul ergo cum in unum, congregamur, ne nos mente dividamur, cadeamur. Cessent Georgia maligna, cessent lites, et in medio nostri sit, Christus Deus. Ubi caritas est vera, Deus ibi est, simul quoque Videamus, gloria ter voltum tuum, Christe Deus, gaudium quod est immensum, atque probum, secula per infinita, seculo. Jesus Christ, the firstborn from the dead, and ruler of the kings of the earth, has made us a royal people to serve his God and Father. O God, give your judgment to the King, to the King's Son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people, and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon, from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the sea coasts shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Jesus Christ, the firstborn from the dead, and ruler of the kings of the earth, has made us a royal people to serve his God and Father. The Lord will be the champion of the helpless. 
He will free the poor from the grip of the powerful. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing, and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land, to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities, like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever, and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto. Sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula, seculorum. Amen. We call upon your name, Father, and pronounce it blessed above the earth. Give your people the fullness of peace and justice in your kingdom. The Lord will be the champion of the helpless. He will free the poor from the grip of the powerful. The saints won their victory over death through the blood of the Lamb and the truth to which they bore witness. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath, and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come. The reign of our God and the authority of His anointed one, for the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. The saints won their victory over death through the blood of the Lamb. And the truth to which they bore witness. A reading from the book of Hebrews. Jesus died outside the gate to sanctify the people by His own blood. Let us go out to Him outside the camp, bearing the insult which He bore. For here we have no lasting city. We are seeking one which is to come. Through him, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise, that is, the fruit of lips which acknowledge His name. For our sake, Christ was obedient, accepting even death. For our sake, Christ was obedient. Accepting even death. While they were at supper, 
Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula, seculorum. Amen. While they were at supper, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples. At the last supper, on the night he was betrayed, our Savior entrusted to his church the memorial of his death and resurrection to be celebrated forever. Let us adore him and say, Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as you console us. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. You humbled yourself, by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory and bring us at last into their fellowship. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, for your glory and our salvation, you appointed Jesus Christ eternal high priest. May the people he gained for you by his blood come to share in the power of his cross and resurrection by celebrating his memorial in this Eucharist. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.